Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Hey, I want to start out by saying congratulations to the winners of our giveaway. Uh, Jennifer in Bakersfield won the fish, chalkware fish, and Tessie from Iowa won the thermometer uh, refrigerator magnet owl. So, wow, two winners, Iowa, California, who it could be you next. Uh, also, uh, the long nightmare is over. I have a new cell phone and I will get it activated and we will fix our audio visual problems. Well, just visual, really. Um, so this is the last one. This is the last episode. You'll see ghosts. You'll see little shadows. So yeah, thank you T-Mobes for coming through after much, much, uh, uh, back and forth. All right, so let's get to today's haul, which is a great haul. I say that a lot. This one's great. Um, I don't show you stuff that's crappy, generally. Um, the first thing I found at uh, City Mission Thrift, brand new thrift store in Uniontown. I found, anybody know what this is? Anyone? Shirt Tails. Yes. Adorable Panda with a Hug Me t-shirt on. This was $1.49. One forty-nine. Uh, I'm going to sell this. This is ceramic. I'm going to sell this uh, for, for $12. Bucks. I'm going to make it $10.50 off of the adorable. Who remembers shirt tails? I do. Just on, you know, I was... A little on the too old for it, but I remember it well. Next thing, speaking of chalkware, holy smokes! Look at these two troublemakers, huh? Uh, this is a chalkware, which is that kind of like ceramic, heavy. It's a it's a uh, wall pocket. See that little? You can put a put dried flowers in there, what have you. This was $3.99 at uh, City Mission Thrift, brand new thrift store, halfway between uh, where I live in Maryland and Pittsburgh. This was $3.99. So you can see these creepy little kids. I'm going to I can, I can get, to, this is massive, by the way, and it has, still has the uh, little hook intact to hang it. I'm going to sell this for $25. I'm going to make $21 off this ridiculous, cute wall pocket of creepy children with weird eyes yeah i love that um all right next thing i found i was at a flea market in coriopolis me and my fiance were digging through some stuff a lady had a bunch of compacts and uh pill boxes vintage 60s compacts and pill boxes and uh these are the ones that i want to show you we bought about 10 of them. They were three for $5. And um, this is the first one. This is a compact. And I'm getting into the jewelry, the vintage jewelry. So I realized that you can put a bulletin board on in your booth and push pin, you know, inexpensive jewelry. Things that, uh, you know, aren't really high dollar, but... You can uh, put a lot of things in a small amount of space. So I'm going to get into the jewelry world. And this is a awesome compact uh, little powder thing in there. Mirror. Also this owl. Nobody's perfect. This, I believe. Yeah, this is a pill container. But it's got the great color and those owls. A little Another pill box. This is... Opens up like that. Brass, it would appear. Very cool decoration on there. This is like, this will be like 12 bucks. This will be 14 bucks. 12, 14 bucks. And this last one that looks like a pan. Oh, and I know it opens up. It's got a button maybe. Yeah, there it is. It opens up just a little pillbox, and all of these are kind of cool. And this one will sell for ten bucks. So, uh, you know, I bought thirteen dollars worth, and I'm gonna sell them for fifty-two bucks. So, good little find at the flea market there in Coriopolis. All right, I was shocked, shocked I say to find this next thing because the price was ridiculous. I had to make sure I wasn't seeing this incorrectly. Um, 
these these glasses depict yeah they're playing polo and the uh character character characters they're look they're polo players they're not this this isn't a these are uh very stylized you can see how long their arms are and the horses have very long limbs this is very mid-century modern you know it's not just uh people playing polo it's just the way it looks like it's very elongated very cool now the price on these unbelievably for eight was let's see if i can find it yeah look at this this is a true story salvation army selling eight of these amazing vintage glasses for $3.99 and I'm here to tell you this is a $50 set of glasses all day long okay especially if you're in an antique booth just throw them in there you don't have to ship them you don't have to deal with that the right market boom 50 bucks off of four dollars a set of eight too cool silver rims the that's all intact the paint man one of the nicest uh, glass finds i've had in a while all right next thing i found oh we've had similar things on the show did i do it again yeah i think i did this is well the other ones were the design by yaffa and we could go round and round about whether or not those are that scarce this is scarce this is uh on the inside it says catch it all uh, or or hang it all that's what it says hang it all and i guess you could hang this but i also think this could be used as a record rack because records fit in there see these are adjustable you can go up or down with them uh could be a magazine rack but uh very 80s look this red uh very 80s and uh, i paid what did i pay i paid three dollars for this three bucks and I'm here to tell you, if if I'm correct on this, and I think I am, I'm going to get about $40 for this. i got to be careful with shipping because it's big. It doesn't weigh a lot, but it is big. So I'll have to make sure if it gets purchased by someone in Seattle or Los Angeles, I'm not taking a beating on shipping. But this definitely will be an eBay item because you see a lot of these in the muted colors, the tans and stuff, brown we we'll see a lot of red, so I think this is going to get some good action on eBay. I hope you get 40 bucks, $37 profit. All right. I've had a lot of this on the show. Sirocco. This plastic wall art. You know, as far as Sirocco goes, what you want to see is color and uh, like design, mushrooms, uh, good color. They made a lot of bright stuff, but they all also made a lot of this plain white and gold. I don't think these are spectacular per se, but they do, they, they have a good look. They have a, a vintage look, uh, and they're three bucks a piece from the Goodwill store. Three dollars. Anyone want to care what, what I'm going to get on the other end? It's not that great. It's uh, about 20 bucks, 22 I might get 22 off of six so nothing special but i wasn't going to leave these guys behind because they are definitely 19 and 60s sirocco treasures so keep an eye out for this plastic sirocco stuff because the better the color the better the subject matter mushrooms like i said clocks they made um all right we are down to our last two items i can't believe it speaking of things we've had on the show have I not found this before? Look, it works. It is a bath clock. Yep, a real genuine artifact from the late 70s, early 80s. And uh, this was $3 at a Goodwill. I think in, well, I don't know. Uh, this one This one can't, seems to come from far away. I was with my girlfriend out uh Geez, past Friendsville, I don't know. We were just, we were thrifting, found a bath clock. I've sold two of these now uh, for $15 to $20, and it's an easy, easy sell. I think that this one is perfect, it's working. I'm going to ask $18, $19, and this will be the third bath clock that I've sold. Da -da 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 -da. Bath clock, I love these things. Cool, whimsical, whimsical sells. 
we've we've talked about that all right we're on to our last item and uh wow what a spectacular story this is this was i haven't sold anything i haven't had anything from christian crossing usually i do these shows christian crossing comes up right finally <clears throat> i got a thing from christian crossing in the show and it is oh man a complete set of this amazing wheat pyrex and the price without see that fifty dollars well here's the story this was in christian crossing for one hundred dollars and it's it is in mint condition perfect shape um that's a that's a lot of money at a thrift store 100 bucks for pyrex i mean i know these are worth 125 but uh, I can't pay a hundred to make twenty five bucks. So they lowered it to fifty dollars. Now I'm a buyer at fifty. I'd like to get them cheaper, but it's just these days it is hard to find mint Pyrex at a thrift store because even thrift stores know what they have now. Look at this thing, a complete. Pyrex bowl set for 50 bucks. My asking, whoops, my asking price will be $125. I'm going to make $75. So let's take a look at everything. Y'all, I spent $84 when it's all said and done through eBay, Facebook Marketplace, my booths at the Antique Mall. Now three of them. I'm going to make $343 off of 84 383 off 84 so anybody can do it as i've said many a time uh google lens things in thrift stores go to flea markets stop at garage sales you can do this too uh i want to thank you for watching my program mid mod money remember to subscribe to get in on that free stuff and remember to always round up